Nothing is more relaxing in astronomy than going out and looking up to enjoy a meteor shower. You don't need binoculars, you don't need a telescope. All you need to know is when to look and where to look. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in tonight's video for the Lyrid Meteor Shower. This is one of the best shows in the springtime and it typically peaks around April 22nd. Let's take a look at where and when you need to look to enjoy this show. As we're facing west with the sun setting, I think it's a good idea to set some reasonable expectations of what you can hope to see from a meteor shower. If you're at a dark site location, you can hope to see between 10 and 15 meteors per hour. These are small dust particles left behind from the tails of comets. We're going to want to go out around 10.30 or 11 p.m. As we face towards the northeast now, we're going to look for the brightest star in that part of the sky, which is Vega. To the upper right of Vega, before you get to the Hercules constellation, is where the Lyrid meteor shower is going to be emanating from throughout the entire evening and early morning. The darker the skies are, the better your view is going to be, and the more meteors you will be able to see. Try to find a place to lie down, point yourself towards the northeast, and enjoy the show. This is a slow process, but the rewards can be definitely worth it if you take the time to observe it. If you're able to get out to enjoy the Lyrid Meteor Shower, please like this video and let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for your support, and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.